Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jackson and why am I doing the voice? <sighs> that took a lot out of me, but seriously, why am I doing the voice? <laughs> Anyways, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are going to be reviewing one of my personal favorite Lego Ninjago sets. It's called the um, Lego Ninjago Fire Fang. Um, it's really cool, so let's think. Let's see. Should we start with the figures? Or the snake? Let's start with the figures. Let's change it up this time. So, for starters, you get um, a fired up Kai. Without that, it's this. He comes with Katana. And this uh, new and pretty cool. Actually, I'm not too up to date on this review, but this is a pretty cool um, headpiece for him, I, I think. He also gets this uh, Spinjitzu piece, which is just this piece, a new piece, and this clear, uh, I don't know what to call it. And then you have the two snake guards. Oh, and by the way, I don't know who that is, so I'm sorry, I can't tell you, but I'm just sorry. So right here we have um, it's a really cool new snake mold. I really love that. You get this interesting shield piece. And, throwback to Lord of the Rings on the Hobbit, you get an elven spear. In um, that sort of like orc forge metal color. It's cool. You get another one of those, but this time he's wearing armor. He has a shield and a pretty neat kopesh. Or kopesh, I don't... I know how to say it because I know a lot about Egyptian mythology and Egyptian culture, but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Now let's just put those back there. Right here we have a um, kind of the king or queen of the um, snakes, I believe. Uh, he or she has this really cool gold and red snake headpiece, some cool gold armor. I didn't show you the printing on them, but you could pretty much see it. Uh, this is the printing underneath the armor for this person. They have a really cool thing right here. So if custom work, that could be really good. That's the back. They had this really cool fire snake thing. I think that actually came out for Chima, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they also have this really awesome new staff piece. I love it. It's kind of a take on the elven spears, but it's not necessarily an elven spear. And there's this cool thing on the side. Now let me see if I can get this person's held, head and helmet back on. There we go, got that. Okay, so now let's get into the actual build. So let's start with the smaller things and work our way up to the bigger things. Right here we have this little scepter thing. I don't know, I assume this is something important for the season. I don't, I have not seen the season yet. I believe it's out. Next there's like this stand that it stands on, which I think is really cool. I like curling that up with the snake right here. I think it's awesome. Like, this isn't really designed to come off, but it is possible to take it off, which is good because I like to use this close up. So, um, you can sit one of your mini fingers in here. I love this throne design, it's really cool, especially the areas in here. Uh, it's cool how the snake head, if you were to keep this on the snake head, it would be tilted back so you don't have like a normal thing that they would sit on like that. So, because they would be tilted back. They have this, so they're always tilted the right way, which I think was really smart on Lego's part. Got some, some, cool, some cool swords, uh, some flags and banners, which are awesome. And then we got the biggest thing yet, El Snake. I don't think that was actually Spanish, I'm just saying it, because who knows why, it's uh, the snake. So, I really like, I'm... Interested in how they did the um, the sand blue, I think that is. It's cool. It looks interesting because they could have done more red and black, which I like the accents right here, the trim kind of, could say. And I love this these big pieces for the head. It's really cool. And it's a big throwback to, like, um Lego Adventurers, I think. I'm not sure. Something like that. There are some ancient runes on here. Uh, the face is awesome. I love that. And this fire tongue is really cool. You can close the mouth or open the mouth all the way. You can tilt the head down, up, and look around. 
So you can have it like here, roaring up in the sky, like that. That could be cool, or you could have it looking down on its victims, and with tongue sticking out like it. There are these chains right here to help it move around, because that's what it attaches to on the back of these like warriors. So you clip them in on the back, because the snake's been hibernating for a thousand years. I don't know if that's actually, I don't know if that's actually true. But um, then we have the tail of the snake, which is really cool. There are these um, magma pieces right here, which I like. And you can like, you can use this piece right here to spin the tail around. Kind of like the, um, the Lego Ninjago movie. Uh, Lloyd's um, Green Dragon Mech. Uh, there are some flick fire missiles right here. Oh no, not flick fire missiles. There, I don't know what these are called, but it's the ones where you push down the button and it shoots off one of these. I'm sorry. And this end of the tail, it's really cool, because listen. I'm sorry. There are a couple uh, one by one circle studs in there. I don't think that's the actual name of them. But in this like compartment right here, and it makes it shake, so it sounds like a rattle of a real snake. So now we put the oh now we put these the throne back on here. It looks pretty cool when it's on there. I like it. Lego did a good job with that. Uh, we put the snake king or queen on there. I seriously don't know. I really haven't seen this show. Oh, uh, we put the um the and it's snuck a warriors the snake warriors I mean. Ha 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 ha. Back on here. And we put it there. Like, crap, I can't get it to stand up. So, we get this, we curl it up in there. Like this is. Cool. And we get Kai in his thing. There's not really any room for him, so we can just show him spinning around now. That was not how you should spin him around. Turn this around, turn the tables. It kind of worked, but I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let's explain. I thought that was right. There we go. It works. Not really, but... Whatever. So, as Kai spins awkwardly, I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. Oh, whoa. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but he just fell and the chain caught him. And he's like laying down, uh, not laying down. He's like holding the front and he's about to fall. That is really cool. Wow, and the snake is just looking at him menacingly. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.